Hey you guys, it's the episode you've been waiting for. Greta Van Fleet in concert from Madison, Wisconsin. Coming at you tonight on the Vinyl Countdown. Welcome back to the Vinyl Countdown, you guys. What a special episode we have for you guys tonight. We were fortunate enough to go to Greta Van Fleet in Madison, Wisconsin, Mrs. Peach's new favorite band. Yes. So tell us. We had an incredible day, an incredible night. The show was fantastic. We hung out with some great people in the crowd, and it was an amazing night. It was so great. It wasn't everything you hoped it would be? Definitely. And then some. I actually was pretty impressed by it, you guys. Was it quite loud enough for me? You heard it, you guys. You yeah. Heard it. I got a little bit different vibe from Greta Van Fleet um, when I saw it live. It's a little bit different vibe than I got from the 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 recordings or the, the, the vinyl records, you know what I mean? Seeing them live was just a little bit different, and I think a lot of it had to do with the audience. The audience that we saw there at Greta Van Fleet was very, very different from what I am used to seeing. <laughs> From the 12-year-olds he predicted being there. Yeah, I thought it was going to be all 12-year-olds. No, it was more like a Jimmy <laughs> Buffett concert, you guys. There were people from the age of 12 to the age of 70 at least that I saw roaming around in the crowd, and it was thick with all different ages. It was. And the people, But the people that were there were very, very passionate about this new group at Greta Van Fleet. Yes. When we came into town, it was about 11.30, they were already lined up outside. A huge line of people sitting in chairs. A massive line. And the gates didn't open until 5.30. The show started at 7 and they had an opener. So these people were outside for a long, long time. We were pretty for fortunate to see these guys. One, because the concert dates are very, very far and few between. Yes. I think they were, what, leaving for Europe as soon as they got done yeah, with the their, show in Madison? We were their last U.S. show and they're off for a couple weeks and then they'll be over in Europe and Australia and yeah. All right, you guys. So before we show you guys some actual video footage of the concert, Aww. let's get into some of the finds we found at our big time favorite record store in the whole state of Wisconsin, Strictly Discs. Strictly Discs was about probably two miles from the concert venue. So we ended up getting there that day early to go to, to Strictly Discs to check out to see what they had for us for little treats down in the basement. And then later on that afternoon, we hit the concert. So, like I said, before we hit the videotape and show you guys some live footage of Greta Van Fleet, let's go through the most recent finds on the Vinyl Countdown. There is going to be a variety of stuff in here, you guys, and there are some things I have never seen, ever, and there were some unexpected grails. So, without further ado, Mrs. Peaches, let's get into it. Let's do it. You guys are going to love this one. It's a cult single for Wildflower, The Cult, and guess what? Look in the corner, everybody. Scoop stamp promo! <laughs> there we go. So that was a sweet find, like we told you in a video not that long ago. Anything by these guys, we will pick up. And that's a 12 inch single, right? 12 inch single. Very, Wild very fire. nice. You guys, and it just so happens that we found another 12 inch single here that I have never seen out in the wild, and it's going to be yet another collection, or another addition to our Madonna collection, you guys. Ever growing and this, collection. Yeah, ever growing collection of Madonna. This thing is still in the shrink, you guys, and it looks pretty darn nice. And it is the 12 inch single for Madonna Like a Prayer. And if you guys want to get this all verified, it says Madonna loves the vinyl countdown. <laughs> See? See? Madonna loves the vinyl countdown. So, I oh, mean, that's awesome. how can you go wrong, right? That is so awesome. It's got a couple of cool remixes on there and uh, still in the shrink. And like I said, never seen it. Great addition to the uh, collection. This, you guys, I'm so excited. I saw this in the video. I want to say it was Beth over at B-Sides. Yep. And she just I was got like, this what? I yeah, I have to have that. And guess what? There it was. The Breakfast Club soundtrack. In nice shape, too. In great shape. So I'm very, very excited. That is a movie, you guys, that we grew up with. And I swear to God, I've seen it probably 1,327.5 times. 
The old man grabs me by the collar. Hey, smoke up, Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> Got a carton of cigarettes for Christmas. Yeah, that the poor principal guy. was constantly after them all the yep. time, sneaking around yep. the school. It was so fun. And then Look you can't forget Red Hat down there. Pretty yeah. in pink. Yeah, so great, so great. So. A lot of these guys. This was, was this was the movie that really struck the career for for most of those guys it that were in it. It was such a great movie, though. It was such yeah, a great movie. Really great movie. Okay, you guys. Here's another one. What an awesome little 12-inch single. We found it in the new arrivals there, and it is in pristine condition, you guys. I don't know if you remember this 80s tune, but man, it was on the radio all the time. It is the Pet Shop Boys, West End Girls. Man, I can't believe how long that was on the radio. It was on there every day, the, the charts, man. Oh, yeah. I'm telling you, it was a huge song. Dead West End balls. Girls. Yeah. Eastern boys and Western girls. Western girls. And then the uh, label on that one. You guys have probably seen these before. I believe it's EMI. Just a nice, nice hit from the 80s, you guys. The end of the uh, 12 inch singles. All right, I really think you guys are going to dig this next one. It was sitting up on a shelf, and I was like, check this out. <clears throat> Look at it, you guys. I'm going to take it out for you, too. It's cool how it's all not put together yet. Yep, it's Joan Jett and the Black Hearts. I hate myself for loving you. A die cut. There's the back of it, and it even comes with this little stand here too, so that it's you not can not put together yet. Yep, so that you could just display Joan Jett if you wanted to. And the guy at the shop said that that's been sitting on the shelf for like a month, thirty days, <laughs> and nobody wanted her. We weren't gonna leave Joan on the shelf like that. Absolutely not. What a beautiful little rare piece. picture disc, 1988 from the UK. So pretty cool. Cut out picture disc. Okay, you guys. You know, you, as you get a, a collection that's a lot bigger, right? Your grail list starts to diminish a little bit because you you end up getting a lot of them. But then there are just always those ones that you never, never remember. And they're, they're things that skip your head because there were so many awesome, awesome songs in the 80s and so many awesome groups. And it's just hard to remember all of them. But man, such a variety. I saw this one, you guys, in the, in the new arrivals bin at this place, and I was <laughs> just floored. And it's, yeah, don't stand promo again, you guys. You guys ever heard of a group called Sly Fox? You know what song we're talking <laughs> yeah, about, you guys? Yeah, let's go all the way. <laughs> you guys, I have never seen this in the wild. I totally forgot about it, and it's probably one of the most awesome pop synth songs to ever come out of the 80s. You guys, and look at that awesome Gold Stamp promo up there. Just totally chwas. <laughs> There's the totally. Back. The minute he said that song name, I'm like, yes, because the song came back to me and it was. Oh my oh. gosh, this song is unforgettable, but yeah. I forgot it. I don't know what to say. I know. Let's so go good. all the way. You guys, I cannot tell you how many times I've heard that song and how awesome it was. It was right at the top of the charts for a long time in the 80s. Man, wow. I'm so happy to have this in our and this it's the whole album. It's not a 12-inch single. It's actually the whole album. I don't really recognize a lot of uh songs off of it, but yeah, let's go all the way it was huge. All right, this next one's gonna blow your minds. Very excited about this. And it just happens to be still sealed. And guess what? Dockin' Dream Warriors. Freddy on the cover. From the movie, Nightmare oh, yeah. on Elm Street, part yep. three. And there's, the, there's Dockin' with Freddy. So you guys can check that out. So yeah, Back for the Attack, Dream Warriors, and Paris is Burning, all on this still sealed copy. Amazing, amazing. It's amazing. like a cool little maxi single. And then uh, what's the date on that? This is an original, you guys, still sealed. 1987. 1987. Yep. Nightmare on Elm Street. Do you see that right at the bottom? Yep. Whew. Super awesome, you guys. Unbelievable. Black Star Vinyl is going to be like, yeah, buddy. Major score. Major. All right. And here, you guys, is another 12-inch single. I am so desperately seeking their Diamonds and Pearls album. You guys, I, I am Prince, Diamonds and Pearls. I, I want that album so bad. But I was uh, down there looking through the peas, and we discovered this one down there in just immaculate shape, you guys. And uh, it's a 12-inch single, Thieves in the Temple by Prince. 
It's got some nice versions on there. What does it got on there? These in the Temple Remix, these in the House Mix, and the and Temple House Dub. Nice. This is an awesome, awesome Prince song, you guys. And I'm super happy to have it on Twitter. Yeah, and we single. just picked up Graffiti Bridge last weekend, so how fitting. Yeah. It's great. Totally. And the finale. <laughs> yeah, here's the finale, you guys. This is something that I never thought that we would ever run across. Um, th this is almost too much. Uh, I think I saw somebody in the music community had one of these. But it was the only one I had ever seen, I think. Um, when we ran across this and found out that it was absolutely a complete deal, a complete set, it blew our minds. Um, why don't I just start showing you, this is this consists of a lot of pieces, parts for a record. Okay, this is the American Top 40 with Shadow Stevens. And then How it's got awesome a, is that, you guys? And then it's got a date stamped on the front. What does that say? 12? It says American Top 40, program number 88410, chart date 12288. So 12 to 1988. And then it's from ABC, Watermark, ABC. Um, ABC Radio Network. Yeah, ABC Radio Network. I remember listening to Rick Dees, Casey Kasem, um, and Shadow Stevens. And they all had a Top 40 show. And you guys, this is a four record set. I'm just gonna leave them in there. Um, but it's a four record set. There are four four full albums in here. Do you wanna pull it out for them? There we go. Maybe you can show them the yeah. label. So there's this, so it says 1A, and then on the flip side is actually 4B. They're all out of order like that. They have different sides on them. But it tells you right on there the chart date, the program number, and commercials included, which they do play the commercials. We listen to one of the records, super cool. It's just like listening to it when you were a kid. Okay, and there's a whole packet of stuff that came along on the kid, inside but... of this cover, you guys. Okay, first we had a, you had a, what, you got some, prom well, here, let's start out here. This is an actual personal letter to someone at a radio station from ABC Network, okay? And it talks about, this is basically a sales pitch to show you this whole package and sell it to you as a syndicated FM station. Yeah. Yeah. As, as a syndicated radio show. So the station manager or DJ would have gotten this in the mail. And yeah, so there's this uh, personalized letter to the person at the radio station from There's her card. Yep, yeah, there's the actual business card from the person from ABC. And then you got these cool pamphlets on the inside. Here's one um, for Shadow Stevens. It's got a cool like modeling photo of him kind of deal and then you open it up and then it talks about all the benefits of getting this syndicated show inside of this pamphlet for your radio station and how it will help there's his bio on the back yeah it'll help the radio station grow and get bigger and then here's another one just another some more written information about shadow stevens and what they provide and all that stuff and then here's some more another article about shadow stevens and then there's another article about Shadow Stevens. And another one. And another one. And then and another mm -hmm. one. And some of the sponsors, you got like 17 right there, you know? Yeah, 17 magazine. And then, to top it all off, mm -hmm. there's an actual transcript that the DJ would have had inside of the DJ booth at the radio station so they could keep track. It's a transcription. So they could sh keep track of what was going on as the record was playing or, or as they were getting it syndicated to them. And uh, it's got a, it's, it's a total schedule of the whole show, of the whole show from Aren't front to back. Are you guys dying to know what the number one song in America was on 12288? <laughs> we know now. What is it? Does it say on there? Yeah. Well, I know, I know there, I know, uh... Vinyl Victim will be disappointed because Bon Jovi got knocked out of the number one spot. Yeah, there was some awesome groups on here. There was, uh, uh, there was, uh, Guns N' Roses, mm -hmm. Death Leopard, um, Poison. Cinderella. And Cinderella and Bon Jovi on this, on, on this, uh, weekly top 40 segment. So really, really, really cool. The number one song was Baby I Love Your Way slash Freebird. <laughs> that was the number one song, and it knocked Bon Jovi's Bad Medicine to number eight. Wow. And number two was Look Away by Chicago, which we all love that song. Yeah. And then How Can I Fall was number three. 
Um, number four was I Don't Want Your Love, Duran Duran. And number five was Desire by You Too. Nice. So, so very, very cool and very, very rare as far as I'm concerned. I've never seen one of these ever, ever, ever before. So yeah, yeah. what an awesome little treat to little conversation piece for the uh, Easy Listening Lounge. You guys, so are you ready? Are you gotta ready see to you see, a little, see it? Yeah, a little Greta Van Fleet action. So what do we got to tell them? This was from their encore. It was Safari Song. They, for their encore, they they brought their opening act up with them and then they did a Bob Dylan cover. They all jammed on stage. They said it was their first time doing it. So that was super cool. And then they went into Safari Song and we got some seriously amazing video of it. You are gonna absolutely love it. What I'm gonna do you guys is I'm gonna show you, actually I'm gonna show you probably a segment of like four different little clips that Ooh, I took during the concert. So yeah, I do the editing here. So I'm gonna take probably like maybe three or four clips and uh, show you guys exactly where we're standing and you're gonna, it's, it's, it's a pretty nice, nice video. So uh, without further ado, let's go yeah. to the video tape. Yeah. Hey you guys, we're here in Madison, Wisconsin at the Greta Van Fleet concert. You guys, it's finally here. I'm so excited. <laughs> we are walking over to the merch tent right now. Yeah. And we are going to get some t-shirts and, and stuff. Showtime is like an hour and a yeah. half away. And here, let me give you a look around. We're in a big field in Madison, Wisconsin where there's all kinds of people running around. The stage is up there. We got in pretty quickly. We're gonna head over to the merch tent and get ourselves some t-shirts, so guys. Okay, guys? Oh, 
for you tonight guys we're super super happy to show you that Greta Van Fleet footage and super happy to show you our most recent finds you guys please like and subscribe the channel and we're looking forward to a lot more cool stuff this summer right here on the Vinyl Countdown we will check you guys later see ya